Hey guys, welcome back to Top 10 Nerd. Today we're returning to our Harry Potter Funniest Bloopers series, part 3. But what's that? There's no more bloopers to talk about? Why? Yeah, you're kind of correct about that. Or at least I am, because I, I, I'm the one who said it. So instead, the powers that be want us to explore some funny moments the cast has discussed in interviews about onset stories. So yeah, technically not bloopers, but still lots of Potterverse giggles. With a healthy helping of Fantastic Beasts this time around too. Or a decent helping, that is. Save that one for later, guys. Anyway, with that being said, let's jump in. And at number 10 is the suitcase gag BTS. Let's start off our list with the latest addition to the Potterverse. As of this recording, that is. One of the most memorable visual gags in the first Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them film is when Newt climbs into his suitcase while Jacob watches on, and is at a loss for words. While the scene itself is hilarious, watching from behind the camera is almost better, just to see how the blocking actually went down. Up next at number 9 is trivia time. During the opening for the Wizarding World of Harry Potter at Universal Studios, Mashable decided to throw some trivia questions at the cast of the franchise. And it had some pretty hilarious results. I don't. You're gonna <laughs> okay. catch me out and then fans will hate me forever. Turns out Tom Felton didn't know that Snape was technically a Death Eater. The Phelps twins know which of the Weasley twins is older, and Warwick Davis doesn't seem to know who else is on the Hogwarts staff. Enjoy. Alright, you got me on that one. You got me on that one. <laughs> Is that in the book? Where did that come from? Now? Up next, number eight is Draco's hair dye. Turns out the thing that Tom Felton will miss the least is the blonde hair dye he had on his locks during the filming of the movies. In an interview, Felton comments on the hair dye. Um, the least is going to be the hair dyeing situation. The the lack of blonde hair is a is a good thing. But also talks about what he'll miss the most: the people involved with the films. Oh. It's odd because you know when things like this happen, we all get to come back. Tell Easton for two days and be the family unit again, so it's been so much fun seeing everyone. And at number seven is favorite lines. During a press conference for The Deathly Hallows Part 2, the cast and producers talked about their favorite lines during the filming of the entire series. Emma has a wonderfully adorable answer, and of course it's from earlier on in the film franchise. I'm going to bed before either of you come up with another clever idea to get us killed, or worse, expelled. And then Rupert even jumps in, commenting on how he still remembered Ron's response to that bookworm gem. She needs to sort her priorities. Up next, number six is not my daughter. Up next, let's take a look at Julie Walters, aka Molly Weasley's favorite line. Can you guys take a guess at what it might be? Not my daughter, you. That's one of my favorites too. Of course, Walters does elaborate a little bit afterwards and gets some much deserved applause. So incongruous. I couldn't believe Mrs. Weasley said it when I read it. I couldn't believe it, so it's fabulous to say. In at number five is Who's Most Likely? As we start this new franchise of Fantastic Beast films, fans are getting themselves familiar with the awesome cast behind their new favorite characters. And so is the press. In this one video from E, we get to see the cast play Most Likely To, discussing their fellow actors. His groin. Oh, his groin, sorry. A rumpant mating dance. Yes. So. Did he really? He did. Yes, he did. <laughs> or Colin because of his wand work. <clears throat> oh, shucks, guys. Don't you just love him already? And at number four is Sorted. During an interview with BuzzFeed, Daniel Radcliffe puts his Hogwarts knowledge to the test and sorts various celebrities, including Meryl Streep, Benedict Cumberbatch, John Hamm, Kanye West, and Beyonce. He's somebody I associate with great intellect, so I'll go with Ravenclaw there. Although, I think he might be a little biased towards Gryffindor here. What do you guys think? <laughs> I'm just gonna like claim all the cool people from Gryffindor. Okay. By the way. In a number three spot is Ron versus Harry. At the same Deathly Hallows Part Two press conference, a reporter asked Emma to compare the kisses she shared between Daniel Radcliffe in Part One and Rupert Grint in Part Two. And the reporter even takes it one step further to ask if she would have liked to kiss Tom Felton too. <laughs> After some laughs, Emma gives a graceful response, outlining the circumstances of the wonderfully strange situations the kisses occurred in on set. One being half naked in silver paint, and the other being drenched in water. That was also equally awkward and weird, so both strange situations to be in. Um, both were complete gentlemen. And our number two spot is Draco goofing around. On a broom! From BTS footage of the Chamber of Secrets, at this number we've got some adorable moments of Draco Malfoy, aka Tom Felton, on set goofing around, and sharing a laugh with his character's biggest rival. How sweet. We get to see Felton and Radcliffe goofing around on their brooms, and Felton even goes on to tell the camera afterwards that the two are actually best of pals, which Radcliffe seconds, but also adds this. I have Polaroids that I could show you of Tom. Shut that mouth. Shut that up his hair, like all spiked up. And finally, in and number one is Emma Watson admits that she messed up some scenes. Recently in an interview with Jimmy Kimmel, Emma Watson admitted that she used to ruin takes by mouthing other actors' lines. Jimmy showed her an outtake from The Sorcerer's Stone, where Watson is mouthing Daniel Radcliffe and Rupert Grint's lines. But hey, at least her explanation for why is super adorable. This is actually quite traumatic for me, because I 
created issues because of this. Oh, really? Yes. What because issues? I would, I would ruin takes. <laughs> Chris would be like, cut, Emma, you're doing it again. There we have it, guys. Another 10 funny moments about the production on the Potterverse films. What list do you guys want us to do next? Leave your suggestions in those comments below. And if you see one that you guys really dig in the comments, make sure you like it so we know which ones you guys are collectively digging. In the meantime, I've been Kelly Pally, and this has been Top 10 Nerd. I'll catch you guys in the next one.